Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here at Crafter's Companion today. This is Jenny Black and I'm going to show you how I added some dimension to my flower pot and a couple other little images that I've colored. So what I want to do is show you the difference of coloring with dimension versus a flat image. So here I've colored my image a few times and I'm going to scoot in a little bit closer. You can see this first image here, I colored it with just one color. It looks very boring and flat with no life. And then I added a little bit of shading using three other colors to add some dimension to my flower pot. And now it just looks more lifelike and realistic. Uh, so I like this much better than I like this one over here. So let's get started and I'm going to show you a little tutorial that I have. Uh, I taught this in some of my classes and I'm just going to talk to you about it for a second. So here what I did is I started, because it was kind of a large area, I started off with my lightest color first, just wetting my surface. I just wanted to have a little extra fluid so when I started adding these dark colors in, those that extra fluid would help blend my colors together before they dried. It's very important to add your colors while the previous color is still wet because you need that fluid to blend things together. So again I started off with my lightest color and then I started with my darkest color at the edge working my way towards my lightest color towards the center and then I went and I did my dark and worked my way towards my center on this side and pulled them together in the center and that's how I got my cylinder shape. So you can definitely see that this has some more life than this over here. This looks very boring. Um, here's a little mailbox that I did. It's actually a color copy so it doesn't have a lot of dimension. It's been muted a little bit by the copy machine. But you can see it has a little bit of dimension here. It looks like the center is here and it's further away as you go, as you go to the sides. Um, I have another image here. Um, my little boy. My little boy here, his, each of his legs is a cylinder. So I treated each leg as a cylinder, highlighting the center and putting the shading on the side. My little froggy buckets, they isn't this cute? I love this little image. So my little watering cans have a highlight down the center and it makes my buckets look like cylinder shapes. So let's set him aside and I'll show you one more image. My flowers here. Most people don't think of flowers as a cylinder shape, but if you look at the petals, they kind of are a half cylinder. They're kind of a little hill here, and so the top of the hill is the center of your cylinder. And so what I did is I put my highlight in the center of the, the curve, making the center look closer to me, and I shaded with darker colors on both of the sides to make them look further away. So that's what we're doing here with our flower pot. So let's get started. Today I'm going to use three or four colors. I always put out several different colors because I always change my mind halfway through. So today I have a TN6, a TN4, a TN3, and a TN2. These are the colors I'm going to use. You only need to use three colors on your flower pot, but I might use four so I pulled them all four out. Okay, there's my flower pot. I'm going to start off with my lightest color first, just wetting the surface to give me a little bit of fluid to blend my colors together a little bit smoother. I'm not going all the way up to the line. I'm just adding some fluid. You can step, skip the step if you prefer, but I like to add in a little bit of my lightest color first. Now I'm going to take my TN6, which is my darkest color, and I'm going to just add a little tiny bit because I don't want a lot of this. I went out of the lines a little bit, but I'm not worried about that. I'm showing you guys technique. So if you guys make a mistake, don't worry about it. There's my darkest color, TN6. Pulling it towards my highlight. If you're not a quick colorist, I recommend that you only do one side at a time and then go and do the other side. There's my TN6. Now I'm going to step down to my TN4. And I'm going to gently overlap these two colors, blending them together in the center of the two. And I didn't work quick enough. You can see that they didn't blend together very nicely because my dark color had already dried 
or I didn't use enough ink. So I'm going to go back and put in another layer of my dark color. So I'm going to go ahead and add it in. And now I'm going to step it back down again. I better work on one side at a time. There we go, that's blending much softer. Sorry. And now I'm going to step down to my TN2. And there it is. So that side of my flower pot is done. And now once I would do the other side of my flower pot, it would look like this. So that's my video today. I hope you learned a little bit about building dimension on your images. And please come back again for some more videos. Have a great day.